Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mr. Four here. Today we are back with Dragonic Overlord. So, this is actually take two in a totally different place. Um, so, yeah, this video has been highly delayed. So, I put a bunch of other stuff before, but it was fully my intention to cover Dio as soon as possible. So, uh, if you're seeing this, yeah, it's probably been uploaded already because it's not pre-recorded. Um, so, today we are doing Dragonic Overlord with Fate the Fourth. Hello. So, as you probably guessed, I cannot afford this deck, so Fate can and thus we're doing it. Uh, let's start with the right line. It's still Undoom from the trial deck now in the main set. Uh, generic D starter. If you go second draw, not bad. Great one is Bar. Bar has two skills. When rolled upon by Nahalem, you counter blast one. You search your deck for any great one and add it to your hand. So this effectively is a very good two boxing of your entire great one arsenal. Um, your most common pick is obviously um no that's not him. Uh, Twin Buckler, your stronger PG. Uh, but that's not to say you can't pick anything else, which is why this deck is a little more uh, li liberal with our great one choices because we can just afford to try anything and just add it to our hand if the situation arises. Uh, I won't go too much into it. Generally, two box things good. That's the reason why Conroe was banned. Yeah. Uh, second skill is on the Rega Circle when your Vanguard attack hits, this unit gains 5k. Um, it means it's a 13k beta or 13k magic number. It does not have to be a great 3 Vanguard, so it could be as early as turn 1 or 2. You can use this very well aggressively. Um, but, you but, may... it, but your attack has to hit though. Attack has to hit, but when yeah. you reach grade 3, it's also not a problem because you have tricked on it. Overload. Yeah, you will expect, you will, all, all, all will be reviewed later. All will be reviewed later, yes. Very good. Uh, and then, of course, our next card is, of course, the Dragon Knight Nahalem. Nahalem is 2 skills. Uh, when rolled upon by Dragonic Overlord, you superior call him out from the soul. So it's effectively Alfred early. Uh, we've gone full circle. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Um, the second skill of Dragonite Nahalem is a combo with the first skill, and that is that on the Rega Circle, when your Vanguard with Overlord attacks, you Soul Blast 1. This unit and that unit gain 5k until the end of turn. Uh, this skill is once per turn, but it's until end of turn. So when you swing with Overlord twice, it's going to keep that 5k bonus for both attacks. And the Hollow becomes a 15k beater. Um, so it's quite easily assessed in this deck, so really it's good. Last but not least, we have Dragonic Overlord, the big boy himself. He has two skills. Very simple. Very simple. His first skill is, during the battle that he attacks a rear guard, you can't guard. So, yeah, you, you just can't guard. Second skill is after the end of the battle, this unit attack hits. You counter blast one, just kind of cut from your hand, stand this unit, it gets drive minus one. Very simplistic, very traditional Dragonic Overlord. No, no, you know, 16 crit, no restanding front row, no, 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 none of that, no direct damage. It's just very pure and straightforward Overlord. Really, there's nothing much to say about it. The first downside people poke is that, oh, it doesn't get power, but you have stuff like Nahalem, and we have other stuff in the deck that help it hit numbers, so. Honestly, it's not that bad. Overlord is quite good because it's essentially a triple drive for every turn. Just discard one, which honestly, in a format where triggers are quite impactful, uh, you know, it, it does help. So, yeah. Moving on to our great trees, we play four copies of Dragonic Overlord. Three in the main deck, one in the right deck. And we also play four copies of tri Yes. Okay, so more Overlord. Is quite simple. We want the persona right, so let's cover Tribesh. Oh, Tribesh! Tribesh skill is that when your Vanguard attacks, if your opponent only has two or less rear guards. You can put him into the soul, and then your Vanguard will, for that battle, your Vanguard will gain plus one crit. And note, this is stackable. So if you have like, I don't know, you have four Tribesh on field, and your opponents have two damage, you can put all four of them to the soul, and then swing for little on like turn three. So that's pretty poor. Pretty poor. Uh, really, he's a good Dragon and Pilot generic. So, as long as Overlord doesn't get a specific grade three support or just support that wants to take this column, this column, this slot, yeah, we are more likely they're not gonna keep playing Tri Bash. Um, there are other options that people want to play Dragonic Overlord, like Onishifuki, the fifteen k beat stick, as well as other stuff like Idris, which is questionable, but no, I'm not sure. But I mean, tri is pretty good for what it is, and it provides soul, so that's another reason why it has gained the slot. Moving on to our grade 2s, we have 4 copies of the Dragon Knight Nahala, uh, right here. And we also have 4 copies of Berserk Dragon. Um, Nahala, we've already covered, it's pretty good. Now for Berserk 
dragon. Okay, so Berserk Dragon is that when he attacks, uh, if your Vanguard it has Overlord in his card name, he gains 5. And then you may Color Blast 1 and you may retire one of your opponent's Grade 2 or less rear guards. So note, this is a battle phase retire, so yeah, you need to, if you're planning on using tri you need to plan correctly uh, when you're gonna feel white. But generally still, it's a minus one to your opponent's board, and it's also a 15k attacker. So as you already said, if the hollow 15k attacker is very strong in this deck because you have bar, which is a 13k booster, so that's 28. Your, so it, all your three call, all your regular calls you need for 20, that's gonna be very devastating, especially since you're a restanding Vanguard, your opponent has to guard, uh, potentially has to guard, Twice or once, very big to ensure there is a no pass. Yep. Yes. Right now for our grade twos, not grade twos, our grade ones. Our grade ones, we have four stronger PG, two Enten, three Gojo, four Toji Chirashi, as well as four copies of Bar. So the Bar we've already covered, so we won't talk about it again. Generally, you just want a 13k beater, it's good. There's no reason for it to be bad. Stronger PG is just better. We also have uh, three copies of Gojo. Gojo skill is at the end of the bell that is unit boosted. If the attack hits, retire it, it counter charges one. So it's a perfect refund for Dragonic Overlord because generally he's the one that uses Counter Blast the most throughout the entire game plan. And as long as he boosts an Overlord hit and he counter charges, you just get a refund back, it's pretty good. Yeah, for Overlord, since the attack on the rear guard will always hit, it's basically always guaranteed to pop off. So that means your Overlord cost will be dropped to just discard one. Or if you have Togi Garashi, it's literally, you, li you literally plus some Overlord skill. Yeah. And then, uh, but then do note, Dragon 1 Gojo is actually a generic support for all Dragon Empire. So you don't have to actually just use him in Overlord because it only requires you to have your boosted Vanguard attack hit. So it's something like... No, 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 no the boosted unit. No, no, like Vanguard, Vanguard. It's, eh? Vanguard. it's Vanguard. Oh. Yeah, so... So like decks like Nirvana, so you so like let's say like you are, so like let's say you have a Valiante to pressure for the one hit skill. If your opponent just wants to take the Nirvana, you can use Gojo to then bait out for the counter charge. It will also also for Eugene also, you know, there's a lot of skills that require counter blast like Idris, uh, uh and other and other skills as such. So you know, the counter charge is really important for the it's overall just a I really mean good even when you reach the this. next DE boss, you might want to pick this up. Yeah, because so, yeah. as count as as every clan in, in all Dragon Empire has always been very color blasting to be honest. Yep. Then we move on to Toji, the breakout style of this deck. Honestly, I was not expecting Toji to be this good because when I first saw him, I was like, oh, this is ass. But yeah. no, because Toji is actually the ultra staple for Dragon Empire that can hard carry all three when decks. You, when you realize how much soul Dragon Empire needs. When you realize how much soul Dragon Empire needs, you, you feel like playing Dark States instead. Um, his skill is very simple. As long as you discard him during your turn, you move him into your soul. So you change any form of discard cost to a plus one soul cost. Since you know the card you're discarding, you, you're not really losing out from a soul charge since you just put in the soul. So Overlord needs a lot of soul. Um, Eugene needs soul. Nirvana needs soul. So there's really no reason to not play it. I, I mean, with the exception of Eugene, I guess, because Eugene has other options and Nirvana as well. But for Overlord, since Overlord does need the soul, it does become pretty important. Uh... I mean, there are some people who would rather play stuff like Tencha Steed, which is honestly okay, but that's for more control or grind out matchups. Toji is just. It does a completely different purpose, so really he still and, deserves the slot. And honestly, like after playtesting even more, this deck, even even though it's not like the actual like grindy variant of this deck, it can actually grind matches out very long to the point where your opponent just only win my deck out. Like, the, like legit. Like, so you do. So, so Tencha Steed is really up to you. I've seen a lot of lists that play Tantra Steed and think that, oh, you know, because, oh, if I boost Overlord hit on the rear guard, it will definitely hit, that means that I will definitely get my Persona Red copy, but then things that, will you actually get to use that Persona Red copy? Whereas if you have Togi Garashi, and you, and you, in, and you manage to keep a card, another card in your hand, like, let's say, like, a 15k shield, or, or, or your over trigger, a 50k shield, that could potentially save your life, whereas just another 10k to your whole front row next turn. Yep, so that... It's pretty much it. Oh, well, speaking of 10k. <laughs> speaking of 10k, yes, we have Entan. I'll let you talk about this one. Yet another, honestly, yet another uh, surprise, surprising uh, comment from this set. Uh, his skill is very simple. When it's, boost, when it's boosted attack hits, so that's so this one it actually is any attack, any boosted attack hits. You may Soul Blast 1 and retire him. 
you give one of your units 10k. So it doesn't have to be the Vanguard, it can be any unit, uh, just pump 10k. So, so you know the power that we missed from Tension Steed, yeah, so we can instead use Entan to sort of get it back. It's a 10k to just one unit, but sometimes that just one, one unit having 10k more is all you need to win the game. And also it doesn't require Counter Blast, so you know we have Counter Blast for all the other skills like Berserk, Dragon, Overlord, uh, Bar. You know, you don't have to worry about it competing. The reason why we're only playing two is because you, you don't have to use him that often. You Because you already get enough power from just using other skills. As well as Soul is already a very competitive uh, uh, resource in this deck as a whole. So, you know, you can't be spamming him every turn. Otherwise, you, you really are just going to run out of Soul and then you can't use half your skills. Yeah. And the other thing is also that it's an on-hit and it retires itself. So you're generally minusing one from the board for this 10k boost, but it's really just to help you edge and close out games. Yeah. Uh, it's not your main way of finishing, you can play without it, but we just found it it's a really good surprise finisher for Overlord. So. And also, since it's a great one, you can also search it out it's from bar. the bosses. So yeah, just mm. not bad. Mm. Good two boxing. Finally, our great zeros, we have Undoom as the starter, Drunk Veda. 3 draw, 8 crit, and 4 heal. So as we said just now, Undoom is the starter. Um, we play 8 crit because we want to close games, you know, as much as we are not resorting to 16 crit degeneracy. Um, Overlord is still an Overlord deck, so high crit counts are definitely appreciated. I mean, it's all, it's all a matter of time. Some, some people will try it. People will try it. I mean, if you play France in Overlord, um, we pray for your soul. Um, four heals, because we are playing Vanguard, we want to heal. Um, very straightforward. Three draws. It's a piece of iron deck. Uh, it's a piece of iron deck. Also, deck, also, so also you like, not only do you need to discard it for the right deck, you also need to discard it for Overlord and actual skill, so why? So, it's a perfect, like, discard for order for Overlord. It's like, it's a complete trash in your hand, just fight issue. And if it's in your hand, it means it's a brick, because it doesn't give you a free draw. Yeah, and just generally, you do want the draw triggers. I mean, Later on, if they add more crits, we may end up playing, you know, something like 11 crits or something. But yeah. to be fair, I think draw still works because Overlord does want to see its pieces, especially in D format where it's more piece reliant. Yeah. Um, Drunk Veda, because Drunk Veda, nobody cares about 200 million. If you stand Overlord once again and play Kaito Shiki's theme song, you just win. Yeah, yes. and then also, it's, it's, it's legitimately Overlord the trigger. So it's you must play Overlord the trigger in Overlord Not the deck. deck. Absolutely correct. And that actually finishes Dragonic Overlord. As you can see, it's very fast for a deck profile because the deck is really very simplistic, which is something I kind of like about Overlord and D-Series. D-Series decks tend to be either very simple or too complicated with their deck building, but I find Overlord very true to its flavor and it's very fun. I mean, if you're a long-time fan of Overlord, you would still like this deck more likely than not unless you're more into the more technical Overlords like Turnabout. Uh, but if you're new to Overlord, this also gives you a, co a relatively holistic approach as to how Overlord was meant to be before it became 16 crit degeneracy. Uh, really, there's nothing more I can say. Is this a good deck? Yes. Um, is this the meta? I don't no. know. But it definitely is something that can compete with the meta. I have full confidence that it can. Uh, and it's not that expensive. I mean, besides Toji tearing your wallet apart and Overlord being Overlord and, you know, Twin Buckler being Twin Buckler and Drag Vela being hard to find. Everything else in the deck is relatively affordable at CNR ratio. Even Overlord himself is about 10 to 14 a pop, so really you don't have to worry that much. Yeah, to Togi is the only to Togi, Togi is the, the real only, one. the only double rare that we are playing this entire deck. Yeah. yeah. So, so actually this deck is quite of I mean if you can get a good value for your Overlord, Togi Garashi can be swapped out, but it's, it's debatable. But Overlord, I mean you're playing Overlord the deck, you can't you can't not, really yeah yeah so definitely if you can get a good value for overlord i say this deck is worth checking out yeah so thank you all so much for watching uh we'll see you guys next time with more deck profiles before we move on to fish yes so. september and after that v so vowing yeah. gang let's go vowing gang thing saver gang revenge gang, gang semen uh, gang semen gang uh Chronos Command Dragon Chronos Command Gang. Gang. I, I mean, if you also play, uh, what's that guy? Hosen. If you're if you're into Hosen, oh. let me know in the comments below if you're into Hosen. I'm interested in finding out who you uh, are. You play Pinot Blanc. Yeah, if you play Pinot Blanc for some reason. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. We're interested to know who you are. Thank you all so much <laughs> for watching. Oh, oh, Ancient Dragon. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye bye.